Free agency right around the corner. The Penguins have re-signed yet another one of their UFAs. This one being their backup goalie, Casey DeSmith, who gets a two-year deal at 1.8 per season. We all knew this was going to be a busy summer. Ron Hextall had a lot of free agents. He had to try and re-sign. This is his third one he's got. He started with Jeff Carter mid-season. He got Brian Rust right after the playoff run, and now he gets Casey DeSmith to another two years. I know a lot of Penguins fans don't like this re-signing of Casey DeSmith for, I'd say, two reasons. Number one, his injury history. We've seen it in the playoff run, the last two playoff runs. And the idea of bringing back Flurry. we keep going back to this every summer. And obviously, this re-signing officially puts an end to that, which... I don't think we needed the Penguins to re-sign Casey DeSmith to have to tell you they weren't going to bring back Fleury. Get over it. Trust me, no one's a bigger Fleury fan than myself. He's my favorite player of all time. He's my favorite player than anyone on the current Penguins team. But as a Penguins fan, it makes no sense to bring back Fleury. Even if it was just a one-year, $2 million deal, it just makes no sense for him to take that low of a pay cut to be a backup. And it makes no sense for the Penguins to mess with Tristan Jari's confidence like that because they've made it clear he's the number one guy. You go out and you sign Marc-Andre Fleury, you know, you start throwing doubts in his mind and now all of a sudden you have a 1A, 1B situation. We don't need a 1A, 1B. We need our one, which we have, and we need the two, which we've now re-signed. Nothing I would want more than Marc-Andre Fleury signing that one-year deal to retire as a Penguin but that one year is not going to be this year he's still too good to be a backup maybe in a few years i'd love that but just not this year it doesn't make sense to dish out that extra money to your backup goalie when you have this busy of an offseason coming up casey de smith has been here for almost half a decade and for the entire time he's been nothing but great consistent and solid except for last year's first half of the season other than that it's been a solid run here in pittsburgh and even with that terrible start that he had last year or the year that just passed. See, this is the one thing I hate about the offseason. Do I still call it this year? Do I call it last year? Whatever, you guys get the point. Even with that terrible start, he finished the season with a 914 save percentage. His whole career as a backup, multiple seasons, he's just been hovering around that 915 save percentage. And as a backup goalie, that's all you can hope for. You can take the gamble, let the Smith go, and try and get something better in free agency. But for that price at 1.8 million, I really doubt you're going to find something better. And if you do, what are the odds you hit on it? What if you don't and you get something completely worse? This is the safe pick, the safe bet, re-signing Casey DeSmith. Because yeah, maybe there's a goalie out there at what? Maybe $1 million. You save 800 k and maybe he's better. Or you get that same guy and he's way worse. You get Anti Niemi 2.0. I know a lot of you guys forgot about that, but that was not too long ago. The only way you could have upgraded the backup position was probably to spend a couple more dollars like let's say bringing in a guy like Fleury. But this year, unfortunately, they do not have that luxury of having those couple dollars laying around because they have to re-sign Malkin, Latang, Raquel. They're probably going to lose one or two of them. It's a tandem that everyone's really familiar with, management, players, uh, coaching, all that. Right, Jari, you're number one. DeSmith, you're number two. They're familiar with each other. And I'll say this. I don't think in the last two years with the Jari, DeSmith, tandem have they ever really disappointed i think they've exceeded expectations so i don't necessarily think you need to move on from something that's not really the big problem if anything i think they're pretty good in net when they're healthy and the cherry on top it's a pretty cheap goalie tandem you're only spending what is it less than six million dollars for jari and DeSmith. me i have zero problem for it and like i mentioned when they're healthy i think I'm comfortable with who's in the net. And now that I bring that up, healthy, that's probably a big reason why I see people not liking this uh, re-signing of Casey DeSmith is the fact that he was injured in this playoffs when we needed him and he was injured last playoffs when we needed him. If you don't want to bring back DeSmith, not because he's not a good goalie, but because he can't stay healthy, that I won't say nothing because I can't really change your mind. At least I'll somewhat agree with you because at least you know that he's a good enough backup goalie. If you don't want him back because he's not good, that's where I'll have to disagree with you. The whole health part of it, is a big thing because it's no surprise that he was injured in the last two playoff runs. If the Penguins have Casey DeSmith in the net over the last two playoff runs, there's a very good chance that they're moving on to the second round both times. But is that the reason why you would fully move on from him? If anything, it's somewhat of a compliment because we're saying if we had him in the net, we'd be doing good. And he can't control the injuries. You know, it's just unfortunate luck. That's the one thing I don't like is kind of blaming the player for getting injured. What, you want him to not get injured? I'm sure he would love to do that. It's almost like blaming Crosby for not beating the Rangers because let's all agree here, and I hate to bring it up again, I wanna completely move on, but if Crosby never went down, they would have closed that thing out in game five. But he goes down, 
and you know the rest is history are we gonna sit here and blame crosby for losing that of course we're not that's completely not his fault and again overall injuries you have no control of but anyways we move on with a very big off season i'm still waiting for that notification the latang the malkin one please we cannot lose them for nothing the penguins have used a total of 10 million dollars on their three extensions they handed out to carter rust and de smith and now they still have 21 million dollars to resign everyone else it's gonna be very tough but listen you could get creative with it the draft is a couple days away you have a few contracts that are movable one of our defensemen maybe a Dumoulin, maybe a pedersen that's four million dollars right there 21 goes to 25 million imagine you get a guy like zucker out now you're at 30 million so it's a lot easier said than done real quick my personal opinion i think letang comes back malkin's a 50 50 one reports looking like he's not gonna come back i'm gonna go and say he will come back i hope and i think raquel's gonna go honestly and if let's say malkin doesn't come back that's where i think you need to bring back raquel you can't afford to lose both of them we're gonna find out very soon though it's gonna be a very fun next couple of weeks you know i'm gonna be making videos for all this good stuff so hopefully you come back stick around and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one